Welcome one and all, Love Them Knives channel, LTK, talking about Ethan Grau. Now, uh, I've done a lot of testing on these in the past, so there's a story here that I'm gonna tell you. Yes, I've tested a lot of these knives and they all say, you know, D2 blade, D2. So I send them in to actually get them PMI'd and they're 8CR13. They're not D2, okay? One after the other, after the other, after the other. We've got, I've done probably at least six or seven and, and one was titanium handles. And I go, oh, for sure, for sure, this is going to be real D2 and a viewer of mine saying, for sure, I've been told that'll be D2. When we tested it, it wasn't D2. He contacted me saying, I know, I have not been in control of production, okay? So, I mean, basically, like I said, he was a rebrander and he, you know, he gets knives that are manufactured from other places and puts his stamp on them and sells them. So, knives from here or there, all scooped together, rebranded as F and Grau and sold as to whatever that manufacturer has told him that they are. And unfortunately, somebody's been lying to him. Now, he's saying he's now taking control of production of the Eve and Grau brand, okay? So, he went and he said, can you test the knives that I'm supposedly having made in real D2, will you test them and confirm that for me? Because I want to know. And so he sent me these seven knives here, okay? These three were later. These have not been tested. But once we got done with these, I could pretty much, you know, affirm that these are gonna be the same, okay? So I don't wanna to be too lengthy about it, but he sent me knives, wants me to check them. I agreed that I would do a video uh, to affirm the D2 if it turned out to be that, and these did. These, these all seven tested as real D2. I will show you the PMI sheets that I had done from my metallurgy guy and we can go forward. But I will give you the list of all the model names here. We'll talk about the fact that he's ripping off, um, you know, people's designs and how that conversation went and the new direction they're taking supposedly, and we will see, with original designs. And a lot of these are original designs or at least to me, they look like it. So, I mean, none of these are branded like, you know, Kaiser or Artisan or anything like that. They got the EF brand on them. They're in an EF box and they're 26 or 19 bucks, something like that. And they are varying prices, but they're like anywhere from 19.99 to 26 some dollars. And they're G10, liner lock, D2 blades. Do I have the HRC? No, I don't have the HRC yet, but I'm going to send, I'm not going to send 10 of them to Kurt. Okay, that'd be kind of ridiculous, but I think I'll send four or five to Kurt to do Rockwell's on just so I can go back and do a report on that as well. So I don't know the Rockwell's. So we're going to go through the list. Here's the list of the models that we're going to be talking about. Uh, no, I'm not going to do an individual video on every one of these. No, that's why I threw them together here into a grand report. And so these are the ones that were tested. And then these are the three I received after I sent the first seven in for testing. Okay. And so I wrote this down. I gave this group to Rolf, my, my metallurgy guy. And then I'll give some of these to Kurt for Rockwell testing. So let's just run through this group and I will give you PMIs and all that on these. The first one is the F and Grau EF 934 and you can get it in at least three different colors, which it says here, $26.99. I'm a prime member because with the pandemic lockdown, I go, okay, uh, I had already left Netflix to go to Prime, but it's nice that I get free shipping. And you get it within just a couple of days, okay? So that, that's quick as well. These are not ones you have to order from China and wait three, four, five, six weeks, whatever it is now with the pandemic shipping craziness. So these you'll get in a couple of days, 
right? So that, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You can get it in that color. You can get it in this desert tan. You can get it in black. So that's the 934. Here's the PMI sheet on it. Okay, chromium's under 12%. Okay, it can be as much as 12, but it can be down to 10.9, whatever. There's the vanadium number, and here's the other. So, uh, yeah, and his PMI gun does detect D2. It's in the software suite of this gun, and so it's saying D2. Okay, so it is D2. That's this one here. Interesting deep carry pocket clip, right hand only. Lanyard hole, interesting look. Uh, can't place it. If it really is a knockoff of somebody else's design, let me know. But this doesn't look exactly like anything. Uh, but I've seen this blade shape before. Uh, handles are handles, eh, so I'm not sure. But this one definitely is a knockoff of the artisan orthodox and you know i told him mm -mm -mm, th this is just not cool i mean there's you know you can do original designs there's so much out there you could do why and so that's i mean he's oh yeah that's what the road we're headed down we're going to do original designs and i'll show you some later that i've printed off of his site and i'll give you the link to the ethan grau instagram site uh, and you can see what's coming out. There's going to be some original designs, thank God, and getting off of this. Now, you want a $26 Orthodox in D2? Whatever. But, I mean, I talked to Russ at Artisan Knives, and yeah, he's not a happy camper that they've done this and this. And I don't know what else they have tried to copy, although I'm, I kind of doubt that that's actually impacting artisan cutlery's actual sales because these are different price range and different stuff so but but not not making excuses that's just not right 1999 the orthodox yeah it looks like it and here's the pmi okay so there's your chromium vanadium a little higher huh uh so this is this is d2 obviously and, you know, originally the Ethan Grau owner sent me uh, his mill sheets that he got from his supplier saying, here's what I got. Here's what they're telling me. So that's, I passed them on to Rolf as well. But our results are our results. Okay, they got nothing to do with his sheets. I just thought he'd like to know just for the hell of it. Now, here's the next one. Comes in three different colors. This blue, this or black, and yes, it looks just like the Ravine or similar to it. Uh, although, you know, it's a this is a hoss. I mean, this is a huge-ass knife. And there it is, deep carry pocket clip, blue uh, screws there, kind of a blued uh, pivot, all that kind of hardware. But yes, uh, interesting. They're, they're all sharp. They all seem to be centered. I'm not getting any blade play or lock rock. And this has got some uh, skeletonized uh, uh, liners. They're heavy liners. They're pretty heavy knives. What does that little sucker turn out to be? Well, it's D2. It's D2. There's your vanadium. Not quite 0.8, but still fairly high. I've seen a lot of... Chinese D2 with vanadium levels at 0.2 or 0.3 something. So, you know, if it gets up to close to 1%, I'm, I'm kind of liking that. And so we're in good shape there, okay? Uh, how these will hold up, I don't know because I don't, like I said, have the HRCs. So I don't know if this is a 62 or if this is a 54 or 55, who knows? I'm going to guess they're probably right in a mid-range of a 58 to a 60, but that's just my guess. But they're sharp. This this one's not as exciting to me. I don't like the tip down only. I don't like this positioning of this pocket clip. But the rest of it's kind of interesting. 
And I don't think it resembles anything I'm aware of. It's the EF941, here it is. It's a rock in 1999, so no money there. And of course it comes in this color, in this kind of jade, this natural G10 on, and in black, like many of these knives do, okay? And so here's the sheet on that. Vanadium, almost up to 1%. Getting higher, chromium went down a little bit. It's almost 11%, but yes, it's a D2, okay? Next is, yeah, one that looks like the sheepdog. Uh, kind of strange, 1999, yes, you can get it in different colors. So you can get it in this color, you can get it in that jade green, you can get it in black, okay? Ball bearing opening. What the heck? And so here, the sheet on it, and the vanadium is varying, the chromium is varying, but not a whole lot. Okay, and it's actually D2. So this is what it looks like. It's thick, it's heavy uh, for its size. It's a handful, uh, blue hardware on it. 1999 shooter, uh, stonewash blade, carried around, beat it, who cares? Uh, there's your lockup. I'm not getting any blade play or lock rock. So, okay. Uh, middle finger flick, detent seems pretty decent and appropriate for a middle finger flick. And then, of course, you got your flipper tab. Eh, it's, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. I mean, this may be an alternative to a Ganzo purchase or something like that. So, and there are people buying these. So I think it's worth talking about. And if they get into original designs and they kick it up and they go to titanium and they start getting into other things, okay, I want to follow. I want, I want to find out what's going on. I mean, there's some other knife companies doing really well in the market and I could have written them off early too but I didn't and and you know they've turned everything around and really done well EF 929 interesting looking knife can't really place it as a copy of anything but you can get it in that and these are so easy to die and 2499 um, what are you get so there it is Kind of interesting design, I think. Not bad. Uh, pretty good ergos. Nice big choil up front. That's sharp. Okay. So it's sharp out of the box as well. And here's the low down on it. 11% chromium. 0.733 vanadium. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, so it's real D2. Next, this one is kind of an interesting one, isn't it? So this is the uh, EF910, and it's a $24.99 shooter as well. Kind of an interesting green color, or desert tan, or black. And I've got black. What do you think? I, I, I mean, really, I like this, and I'm trying to place this, if this is really a copy of anything. Um... I don't know. I, you know, I've got the Wii Miscreant, and to me, this looks a lot like the Wii Miscreant because the Miscreant's got a bunch of holes in the handle. The blade's not the same because that's a Burnley design, right? So, yeah, this doesn't look like a Burnley design. So maybe some design cues from some knife that was in the designer's head or whatever that did this. But this is, yeah, kind of really nice uh, detent. I think that's a good looking knife. So, yes, I mean, some of the designs look original and look interesting and 25 bucks and free delivery if you're a Prime member and you get it in a couple of days. I understand the charm. And there are people that that really, um, you know, con contact me and communicate how they like their Ethan ground knives. So it is what it is. And I had one individual who says, you know, I mean, he was commenting about my review on the SRM knives in 14C28N. And they're good, solid knives. Of course, they're the same as real steel. 
SRM, San Renmu, that kind of thing. Saying, you know, there's so many reviewers that just they just trash those kinds of knives. And I feel bad because I don't have a, a very healthy budget for buying knives, but I, I, I like knives. So, I mean, I bought one and I kind of felt bad until I saw your review and, and you, you were really up on it. And it's like, yeah, I mean, budget knives are budget knives, but they, they can be damn in, interesting and entertaining. I mean, I love Ganzo knives. Uh, you know, uh, Kubi makes a line of uh, very affordables. And so Tucson, they're G10 models. And of course you got Ethan Grout. Okay, so if it's real D2 now, this and that, why not? Uh, if it works for you, it works for you. And if the designs are kind of interesting, it's very easy to access Amazon and buy these. So, you know, if that, if that flies your kite, I'm not here to cast aspersions on people. I think it's good to have enthusiasm for whatever you want to do in the cutlery uh, world. So, more power to you. And here it is, the 910, and it's real D2. Okay? So, those are the seven, and then these are the others, okay? This is the... A 931. It uh, doesn't look like anything I'm familiar with. And there's some people that, I mean, I don't know. They'll, they'll see some knife and they'll say, that's an exact copy of. And it's like, and I'll look up the one that they're saying is a copy of. And I'll go, I, I don't know what they're smoking, but they need to send me some of that because I'm not seeing any of that. Uh, so, there's a lot of people that start making things up in their head, but I mean, as far as direct copies, yes, I see this, I see this, I see this. The rest of these, I'm not seeing. So, maybe I'm way off, maybe there's some obscure knife from some, you know, custom maker, and this is the $27 G10 knockoff, <laughs> whatever, okay? So, and then this one, I find, oh, I never did show you this, okay, so that's, that is interesting deep carry clip you know open design big heavy steel liners okay really feel structural but they've done they've skeletonized those those uh, liners but ooh, yeah that's a whole lot and but they're comfortable um they function well they're easy to disengage uh you know it, it, you start getting to the point where what more does it have to do uh, it could be lighter, it could be thinner, but a lot of these these Ethan ground knives are really fat daddies, and okay, but they fill up my hand. I mean, I actually feel like I've got good purchase on them because of that. So, okay, a little heavier, a little fatter, but really comfortable in the hand, maybe for long cutting tasks. And then, of course, this one being the... Uh, 937. Now, the 937 looks interesting for a whole smack in $27, but that's an interesting looking knife. Open design, no backspacer, probably saves money, lots of jimping. Uh, don't know if I really need the blue hardware on here, but I know Ganza went that way at one time, and, you know, and we, I think I thought it was pretty cool at the time. Now I'm not so sure but what, they couldn't just leave it silver and call it good. But here it is, regardless. Yeah, this one I find really fascinating, and uh, the blade shaped to be sensible. Uh, the rest of the style of the knife to be kind of, uh, yeah, kind of interesting. So, good, it's fat. I was trying to see if I had my calipers out here see what i'm saying 0.67 17 millimeter yeah Whew. so yeah i mean that's 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 some heavy stuff here's one uh 15 14 9 0.58 that's not too bad now this is a knockoff of the two year knife shuriken only their shuriken is titanium with M390 and it's about half this size. This one is a giganticus design copy and of course the shuriken was also done 
by other Chinese people with permission from the original designer. So there's copies of this out there. Uh, but this is interesting, interesting knife, and this is that kind of natural G10. Not lightweight. Uh, and no, I can't flick it with this finger at all. To hell with that. Uh, a lot of these are missing jimping on the flipper tab. Uh, you know, they, they aren't quite as refined fit and finish wise as some knives, you know, where they could be. They're a little edgy in places and a bit unfinished uh, some places. Other places, not bad. Um, it's not bad. So there it is. Here it is on the Amazon in three different colors. You can get it in the desert. You can get it in the black. You can get it in the natural G10. Pictures of other models coming out. So he's going to have like an axis lock. These are, this is a nice design here. Okay. Supposedly an original design. And here goes another. Interesting. Nice blade shape. Cutaways here. You know, nice, nice design. Looks original. Um, I've seen this kind of blade shape before, but I can't spot this knife necessarily as a copy of anything. Supposedly, it's an original. And uh, check this out. Not a full picture of the knife, but it looks interesting, doesn't it? This is on his Instagram. So, looks like titanium. Don't know what the blade steel is. Next, this one looks interesting as well. Blade shape wise, cut away in the blade, axis lock. Could be pretty cool. Another one that looks intriguing as a new original design. And what do you think about them? Interesting. Maybe not my cup of tea, but yeah, interesting with this pattern on the scales, stone wash blades. So, hmm. Keep my eye on Ethan Grau, see how they go. Um, and see how they evolve. At least the blade steel, as we have tested it, has now transformed and gone to D2 because he has taken control of the manufacturing process, which means we should be getting steels that are true to form. I'll stay up with that. We'll continue our testing. And I just wanted to let you know, this is what we're doing. Hope this was informative and interesting. And you know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.